I'm Carissa Tarraway and this is Rachel Rice and both of us both of us have um, done some great examples of how you can do cups with UV ink. All of our team has worked really hard on making sure you guys understand the different ways you can do cups. We're also going to be featuring a new process which is UV DTF which we'll talk about as well. A lot of people don't know that we can do UV DTF with Mamaki machines. I have samples at the end of this demonstration if you would like some I'll give them out and Rachel Rachel's gonna help me with my presentation. All right, so let's get it going, Rachel. Let's talk about some cups. So first we're gonna talk about the way you can directly print on cups without rotation. That means we're not gonna use a rotating device to print on the cup. So with the UJF 7151 plus two, on that machine, when you're running LH100 ink, which is what's best for metal and glass, it is gonna have an LD3 profile. So Mamaki has several different LD3 D3 profiles, LD profiles that we use, meaning it's called a long drop profile. The long drop profile actually puts more energy behind the dot of ink so that it travels farther accurately. And because we have the LD3 profile, you will be able to use a jig to hold in your cups, especially those cups that have handles on it that you can't turn on our kebabs. This is a good way to be able to use and print. See even how on this Real Housewives cup that we've got up here, that even though it, the surface of it, that ink is having to fall pretty far. See how accurate it can be. We've got YouTube videos about this as well, but you can set up a jig on your machine and do several cups together at the same time. This is the fastest way to produce cups with Mamaki, other than UV DTF, but this is gonna be a permanent application. So the LD modes you will find, each one of our machines, the smaller flatbeds have long distance profiles and you can choose between LD1, LD2, and LD3. And you can see the LD1 goes 2.5 millimeters, the LD2, is 2.5 to 4.5 millimeters. Look at that LD3, you can go all the way up to almost eight millimeters. You can go to eight millimeters. I mean, that, that dot of ink is falling eight millimeters accurately. One of the only machines on the planet that can do that. And that's in your profile section in Rasterlink. The advantages of printing directly is especially because it's durability, it's gonna be permanent, but maybe we don't wanna just do cups. We can do several different ways to use the LD3 profile. Cups are high, margin items. All right, go ahead. So the next way we're gonna be talking, we're gonna talk about the kebab. Now remember, if you're going to buy one of our machines this month, especially we have the 3.99 financing going on as well. Any of these machines can use the new kebab L. And if you buy in the next 15 days, you're going to get one of the kebabs and the ionizer included in that purchase. That is very rare for us to bundle that stuff together, but these are the three machines that you can use the kebab on. So everybody wants to know what the kebab is. What the kebab does is it actually rotates your cup so that while the printer is printing. What it allows you to do is a full wrap like this cup right here. This was printed on the kebab. So you'll be able to have a full wrap and what I'm using on this is really just one of those sublimation uh, tumblers that you can buy very cheap. And we're gonna use that same thing. And on the kebab, I can put two of these next to each other and get two cups in about seven minutes, which isn't that bad, especially because you're rotating around the whole cup, which I like. So we have two different types of um, kebabs, the older kebabs, we'll say, because remember, we've released the new high speed over there. This is the that was the smaller one, and this is the MK2L. So on the larger one, the 6042 and the 7151 uses the kebab MK2L. And of course you can do cups, but other things you can do because the kebab has a small and a wide area, you can do smaller items like these chapsticks. So the kebabs are amazing. Look at those candles that you can do for weddings. Wouldn't that be amazing? So then now we're gonna talk about the kebab high speed that we have over here showing in the booth today. So the high speed kebab is outstanding and it can um, go on again, all of these machines, but it enables you to do 360 degrees printing on the cups like this. But what's most important on that is you're able to do tapered items now. Look how tapered 
that cup is. This is a hard application to do for most machines, especially machines that you can print this cup and then you can also print on almost anything that is a, sh a substrate as well. So these cups are, it's pretty cool. And in Rasterlink, there is Rasterlink tools that allows you and helps you warp your, warp your artwork so that it prints properly using on this tapered cup, which is nice. And you'll see that you can also do this with several different types of ink. So you're gonna use this at a MK2E. You're gonna want a six by 12, 16 pass profile to do this. So if you guys wanna know more about this, they're gonna have demonstrations over here to the right of us on this 6042. And as I was talking about in Illustrator, we have a raster link plugin that goes into Illustrator that will help you make sure that your artwork is changed properly to the angle of the cup so that when it's printed, it's printed properly to the circumference and it doesn't, no scaling, and it prints it automatically for you, which is really nice. Now I wanna talk about a new process that we've been working on. This is UV DTF. Now remember, UV DTF is a semi-permanent application depending on what substrate you're putting it on paper, it's not going to come off. Some metals, it depends. I'm, going to, I'm showing you two different types of film from Magic Film today. So Magic Film was nice enough to give us some product and we have samples over here for you if you would like. So he's got two different types of film. He's got the XP and then he has the DR. The DR is a little bit higher adhesive. That means it's going to be a little more sticky and it'll stay a little more permanent. But I I, it seems that uh, the detail on that one's a little harder to get the smaller detail that I can get with the XP film. If you would like this film, you um, can order a starter pack. The starter pack will come with 10 sheets of the A film and 10 sheets of the B film. And remember, if you're gonna do UV DTF, we always recommend that you use the LUS 150 ink for that. For the best results, you're gonna use that. The LUS 120 ink, unfortunately, does not transfer properly. The 100 ink works, but it can be a little bit brittle. So I wanna let y'all know that the LUS 150 ink is gonna be the best thing to use for UV DTF. So a lot of people, because I really, the reason why this is called magic film is because the process to me is really magic. UV DTF is starting to be really popular, but a lot of people don't understand how it's done. So when you get your starter pack, you're gonna have a, uh, a film A and a film B, and you're gonna expose the adhesive on film A, and you're gonna print, not reverse, but regular print. I like to do white color and then clear clear gloss on that. You can also use clear matte on our machines. And then once it, you take it off, you take it off very carefully and then you put it in the laminator. This is the laminator that I got just off of Amazon. It only cost me about $300. The, the B film does come in rolls. So if you wanna get a roll of that, you can, and you can use the roll on this little small laminator that I have. So you'll wanna insert a sheet A and then laminate sheet B over on top of your ink. And then when that does, remember to handle those UV DTF prints carefully because you're just looking at ink. And so you'll see, so I've got a few samples here if you guys want some and how to order it. There'll be a QR code on the back. There's also going to be talking about the ink, how much ink is each um, sample has. And there'll also be an instruction card in here to help you understand how to apply the UV DTF. As you see here, some of the cups that I had um, created. So it's a very easy process to be able to do. If you want to look at some other cups that we've done, I've got a, I've got some in a, pres uh, you know, presented over here in this trophy case. If you'd like to see some more cups, but thank you. And if you would like some samples, I'll pass them out. And if you guys have any questions, I'll be over here, and we'll have another presentation tomorrow. Thank you.